crackling wildfires, raging rivers, devastating storms. Global scientists warning that climate change and its devastating effects are on the verge of getting out of control. In the coming decades, temperatures will be hotter, extreme events more frequent and severe. Climate change is a problem that is here now. Nobody is safe and it's getting worse faster. The new landmark report issued by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change says that unless there is immediate, rapid and large scale reductions in greenhouse gas emissions, limiting global warming to one and a half degrees Celsius would be beyond reach. Even under a best case scenario, scientists say that threshold will likely be crossed in the next two decades, earlier than some past predictions. No region on the planet is spared, and the blame, for the first time, being put squarely on humans, who have failed to curb their reliance on fossil fuels despite decades of warnings from scientists. It is indisputable that human activities are causing climate change and making extreme weather events more frequent and severe. The world's oceans, ice sheets and sea levels will suffer the worst fate. The report saying changes already underway will be irreversible for thousands of years, as heat trapped deep in the oceans will continue to cause melting. We are damaging the climate in such a way for the next generations that uh, this will certainly make uh, the socioeconomic difficulties in the future uh, much, much worse than in our generation. Despite the dire warnings, the report does offer small glimmers of hope. The worst outcomes can still be avoided if the planet can bring emissions to zero in the coming decades and reverse deforestation. The IPCC report comes just three months before global leaders meet in Scotland for COP26 climate negotiations. They are facing increased pressure to show up not only with more ambitious climate goals, but also with specific strategies on how to reach those goals. Even with their best efforts, though, the planet is changing, although the cost of inaction will be much higher. Tony Waterman, CGTN, Brussels.